Namaste. In the last session, Dr. Sharath explained us about the different uh, challenges uh, which the teachers face, be it online classes or offline classes. Uh, for example, he spoke about the uh, pain in the eyes, eye swelling due to uh, the screen uh, time which teachers are spending. And he also gave us a lot of remedies how uh, far the screen should be and he gave us a stepwise uh, instruction. He also spoke about the challenges uh, when the teacher has to uh, speak loudly to reach the last benchers. And also spoke about the uh, importance of uh, the spinal cord. Today we have uh, Dr. Saraswati Hegde with us. She is the president of founder president of Unnati Healing Foundation. She is a yogic healer, a scientific researcher, spiritual researcher and a renowned columnist. I welcome you madam for this session. She is here with us to give us a holistic approach to the, uh, the issues that uh, the teachers are facing. Madam, over to you madam. Namaste. Very happy to share the thoughts and experiences with the teachers. Teaching community is the best community. When teachers do their best, the society will be the best. Now, if a teacher is feeling and experiencing good health, their communication, they will really transform the students with a lot of energy, enthusiasm. If the health of the teacher is affected, somehow they will be keep pushing themselves, they will share the information, but that energy will be missing. So keeping oneself healthy and energetic is very important. Let us talk about the throat. Many times we think if the child is not understanding or if I have to insist the information, I have to pressurize on my throat, that is what the feeling of most of the teachers. It's not so. Firmness is important, not the pressure. You have to relax the throat repeatedly, periodically, give an appropriate rest to the throat so that it has a time to rejuvenate itself. Otherwise, in the long run, teachers will have a lot of throat and voice box related problems. To prevent that, to avoid that, we will do this. How do we do that? Periodically, as I told, after every class, just relax. Smile at your throat. Visualize your throat is doing, relaxing, becoming better, healthier and stronger. How is it work going to work? How can I talk to my organs? Will they? How can I talk to my organs? Will they really respond? Yes. Our cells have life. Basically, we all of us rejuvenate and recover within. We all of us have a healing abilities which is within. All external practices including medicine is making the inner healing process better. When you relax, when you smile at yourself, when you talk to your organs, they really respond because they have life. They love to Seek your attention. Next, every night before sleep, make sure that your throat is relaxed. Sometimes you can tighten and relax, part by part. Relax, tighten your right side, then left side, then front, then the entire throat, relax. Tighten, relax. And then smile, give a rest. This is very important. Next, about the eyes. The pressure is too much on the eyes. If the pressure is too much, then the eyes will have all symptoms one Dr. Sharath has mentioned. How do we relax? First, mentally relax. If something is not okay according to us, then what is the immediate thing you tend to do? You try to focus more. The eyes will be at a task. Relax. Relax your eyes periodically. I'll give you two, three methods. Excellently supporting and this has helped many many people to come out of their eye problems very commonly recommended okay one is palming when you see i'm slightly making my palm as a cup putting this cup on my eyes 
This will prevent the light to enter inside. Eyes can relax when there is total darkness. Without light, eyes can really relax. You should sleep without light and also create artificial darkness so that your eyes can relax. After closing, after closing both the eyes, visualize total darkness or total black board and feel and visualize your inside the dark, dark glow, total utter pitch dark. Then eyes will instantaneously relax. That's very, very, very important. You can keep your palms for some time, then leave it. Maybe if you are having a lot of strain due to gadgets or due to light or external light or too much of focused work or if you have a tendency of having migraine, do this more periodically. It will help a lot. Secondly, uh, blinking. When you blink your eyes, tighten your muscles, then relax. Tighten your muscles, then relax. Blinking will release the stress from the muscles surrounding the eye socket. Whatever is helping us to move, the, it will be too much of stress. It will help you to relax. Will you do it? Let us do two, three times. Then you see the difference. Tighten your muscles and close your eyes tightly. No light is going inside. Then relax. Open your eyes wide. Then tighten. Open. This will bring a lot of difference. The next one is such a beautiful and simple exercise. Learn to look up. Up as much as possible. Learn to look left as much as possible. Far, as far as possible. Similarly, up, down, right, left. Why we need to do it? Most of the time, our vision is structured only through this. Maybe somebody may have a, this big frame. We don't go away from this frame. Whatever we want to see, we are trying to through, go through this frame. Reading a book, this. Looking this way, this. this. The frame is moving along with us. We should come out of this tendency and help our eyeballs to move up. The muscles around that will be exercised. The blood circulation becomes better, vision becomes better and it will be relaxed. Up, the right, down, left. Also, a simple exercise. Imagine you are on a 10th or 15th floor of a building. Look up as much as possible. Right, as far as possible. Down. You, your eyes, without bending your head, your eyes are trying to see the ground. So that your vision is stretching. You are giving extra job to your eyes to do the work better so that it will definitely improve. Theory of use and issues. This will help a lot. Will you do that? The simplest way is morning. Let us welcome the sun every day. Go to terrace or open area and say good morning to sun and look at the farthest bird. Stretch your vision and you feel very happy. Greet them. Welcome the life. Welcome every morning with lot of joy and happiness with a clear vision internally and externally. The next one is every day give a cold pad to your eyes. This will minimize the dryness of the eyes. This will calm down your mind house. The heaviness, the pressure will be on your eyes. When you put a cold pad, maybe with a simple cotton or a simple kerchief or plain cotton cloth will do. A small one. When you put it and relax, you really feel the difference. Today itself. Now immediately do this and see the difference. Your body and your mind become very calm and peaceful. Lot of your stress will be released. Eyes are utilizing the maximum energy from our body. When you make them relax, the whole body relaxes. Will you do that? Next one. Back ache and neck, leg pains are very common. Whoever stands for prolonged period, they tend to develop that. We misuse our spine. We misuse the body so much. Till it cries for help, we don't address the need. What we do, instead of making it cry in the name of disease, periodically we will give relaxation. Lie down on a shavasana without pillow, just relax. 
and smile at your spine. Just to say thank you. You are so important. You have helped me so much. You took so much of effort to make my life better. Appreciate it as your close friend. Because it's a backbone. Without that, how is the life? Just learn to recognize. It's a form of gratitude. How will it respond? Because it has life, it will respond. It feels happy. Okay, the more and more I do, I'll get more appreciation. It will start working, rejuvenate itself and come back. This definitely works. Try it out. Next, legs. You have to relax so much. Tightening and loosening will help a lot. This will increase the gradual blood supply to every part of your body. Many times, gradually, we will, because we neglect it so much, gradual blood supply will be affected. It will be affected gradually. To prevent it, periodically do this. If you have too much of leg pain or varicose vein or severe backache, one more simple way is put your legs on the wall. 90 degree. Lie down on the floor. Raise your legs up so that it is in a 90 degree. Stay there for 20 minutes. Oh, 20 minutes, I don't have time. Never say that. During that time, you can listen to nice music or some audio books. You can increase your knowledge. You can meditate. You can relax. You can talk to somebody. Everything is possible. Make sure you have time to invest on your betterment. Make sure that you are doing it. If you do this regularly, it will help a lot. The second option is put your legs on elevated legs before you get into sleep. So that your legs are, the legs are at rest. Your heart is not struggling too hard to supply blood to your legs. By default, it's happening. So will you what is what are the things we discussed about? Throat, rest, giving rest and appreciation, eyes. Giving rest, appreciation, relaxation, exercises. Spine, giving rest, relaxation, appreciation and also exercise. When we are healthy, our approach to teach will be healthier. Always we should remember, when the education system is doing its best, society will be really healthy. If education, shikshana, is failed if shikshana is meaning education depart education if it is failed shiksha shiksha comes it means punishment has to come into society if teachers are doing their best molding the students molding the children in a proper way then the police department and the legal department have less work because already when they are in a good mold they don't need to use their weapons to mold them further so let us bring a healthy society. Simple task because we deserve it. When we take care of ourselves, we will be able to help others to take care of themselves. Let us grow together, live healthy, live, do things properly. Okay? Namaste. Have a healthy and happy teaching time. Take care of yourself. Namaste. Thank you, madam. It was a wonderful session. Your thoughts and your experiences have really enlightened us. And you have given us such simple uh, relaxation techniques. And the thought of appreciating our organs, I think we had never thought about that at all. So now as teachers, uh, we can't be giving reasons. We have no time. We can't do this because these techniques are so simple. Wherever you are, you can simply adopt and use them. Now, it is the responsibility of a teacher to transform the society. Teachers are the nation builders. So, it is our responsibility to see that we are physically fit and in turn build the nation. Thank you, madam, once again. Please be with us. We have a series of programs for the wellness of the teachers. Please uh, help us connect to more number of people. Let the teaching fraternity be benefited by this. Help us reach to more and more teachers. Thank you.